Okay, so you take your project and you put it in and put the red dot right in the very center of your X. Now, to know that it's right in the very center, you're gonna to move to the side. You can take a look here and see that maybe it's off. In this case, it's perfect, but there's this little black knob right here. When you turn this, you'll see that the little red light moves all one direction or the other. So you're gonna move it until it's right in the center of the X. That's gonna give you the right height for your laser cutting. So that is exactly where I want it, and this is exactly how it's gonna cut. So I need to hold this into position and then peel this off. Okay, so that's exactly where I want it. I can then take and close this up. Now I go over to here, I've got my file showing. I'm gonna hit this button, this is Origin. Origin is gonna keep the laser exactly where it is. If I wanted to move it, I could use these arrows and move it around. Now I'm gonna to go to the word frame. When I press frame, it's going to show me the area that is gonna be lasered. Hold this please. So I'm gonna hit the frame button and you'll see that that thing goes around it. If it's not quite right, if it's hanging off on one side, which it kind of is, I don't really have it exactly straight. I'm gonna just straighten it out like that, hit frame again. Awesome. So that looks perfect. Now I'm ready to rock. So I'm gonna close this up. Now, before I do this, I need to go and turn on the fan. The fan is inside of Mr. Spears' office over here. So you're gonna go over here, and you're gonna open this up. Behind the door, there's this button, vent switch hid, hood, switch. You're gonna turn that on. You're gonna hear a weird sound opening up over here, and then the vent will start up. When the vent starts up, then it'll suck all the poisons out and all the, the plastic that's being burned. Now I can hear it just starting up, so now I'm just gonna hit this button. This is the, the burn button. When I look over here, it starts to go kind of hard to focus on it. You can't open up the screen while it's running, but you can certainly stand here and watch while it's going because this shield is dark enough to protect your eyes. Uh, there isn't a time frame that tells you how long this is gonna take, but um, it shouldn't take long, and then you can pull it out and uh, take a look at it then. So now you'll hear three beeps, and that will tell you that it's actually completed. <clears throat> then you can take and open this up. If you see that there's a bunch of smoke in there, don't open it up yet. Let the smoke clear. It'll be sucked out through there and, and out the vent hood. Um, we've waited a few seconds, and so now I can open this up. Hold this up for a few seconds so it doesn't slam down. Then go ahead and take your project out. If your project is, uh, the laser is in the way, you can go over here to the arrow and you can press the arrow. And when you press it, it'll actually cause the laser to move and you can get that laser out of the way of your project. So you just reach over and grab it. Now you'll notice in this case, uh, this there's a whole bunch of residue on here and I wanna take all that off. If you're using wood, you're also gonna get residue that shows up and so you're gonna scrape that off. So if you look with my thumb, I can easily take that off and it cleans it off really nicely. Um, you can use a paper towel to clean that off and we're gonna we're gonna do that right now Okay, so all you do is just clean this off What I'm using here isn't very soft, but it would be nice to use something that's uh, Fairly soft because then it would uh, not Scratch up your project and so there's my no smoking sign um, in this case my no smoking sign is you can feel the, the gradient of the laser on this side you look at this side, that's actually kind of cool too. If it's clear, it's really neat because it this this ends up not having any, um, uh, it's, it ends up being smooth and doesn't have any little bumps or anything. And so you could do this, but in this case, you would have to flip your image uh, using a mirror function in the um, software and then flip it around. If you're doing clear, this might be a good way to go. I really like it when you flip images and it's on, and it's on this side. So there you go, no smoking, nice and easy. Uh, there so now that you've completed, you need to turn this off. So you need to go, unless someone else is going to use this, you need to go to the top right hand corner and you need to turn off this um, project. You don't need to save it unless you're working on something a little more involved. To turn it off, do not go to the power button and just hold that. Instead, go to the bottom left. You're going to click on that and you're going to click power and shut down. Once this shuts down, you can close this to make sure that no dust gets into it. 
Then you're gonna go, you can leave these on. You go to the other side and you're gonna switch this to off. Lastly, you're gonna go into my office and you're gonna turn off that vent fan.